our main tool in interacting with AutoCAD is through the mouse. So once I move my mouse, the cursor moves along with it. And as I move my cursor beyond this wide black area called the model space, as indicated down here, the model space is actually your drawing area. Now, you would notice that the cursor turns into a selection arrow once it goes beyond the drawing area. And when it returns back into the drawing area, it becomes the crosshair again. Now, the crosshair is actually a combination of both the pick box and, of course, the crosshairs themselves. So, once AutoCAD prompts you to uh, specify a point, it becomes the crosshair. And once AutoCAD prompts you to select an object, it becomes a pick box. And normally, the mouse has three buttons. The left and right buttons plus the scroll wheel. The left button is for selecting objects or items and specifying points in model space. So, when I left click once on the drawing area, you'd notice that the cursor turns into the crosshairs. And when I move it towards the left, and it highlights into green. It indicates that I am now making a window crossing selection. Now, if I move the crosshairs towards the right, it turns into a blue selection, indicating that I'm making a window selection. So those are the two main types of uh, selections. Green towards the left, you are making a crossing selection and blue towards the right, you're making a window selection. More on these uh, selection tools on the coming uh, video tutorials, okay? So to escape, just press escape on your keyboards to exit the command, okay? So I, I will press escape to exit the command. I repeat. Pressing escape on your keyboards will cancel or exit an existing or ongoing command. Now, the right button by default is set to open the shortcut menu. So, go ahead and right click on your drawing area. And in the shortcut menu that pops up, you have some useful tools and the things that I love here is just like our current situation we need to isolate okay so to be safe we need to isolate objects or hide objects but uh, the most useful here is isolate okay you can always uh, isolate objects especially when uh, there's a lot of geometries on your drawing area and you don't want to modify those other things and you want to focus on just some or one object so this comes in handy during those situations now I want you to uh, go down the shortcut menu and choose the options okay so clicking options brings out the options dialog window we're in you can change some of the settings in AutoCAD and uh, yes, almost everything in AutoCAD is customizable, okay? For example, uh, currently under display, window elements, the color scheme is dark, okay? So that's the current uh, setup and when I change it to light and then apply, then there you go, okay? It's so light my god i don't like it i'm a rocker so go back to dark and apply and okay much better for me okay so but i advise you not to unmindfully tinker on these settings especially because you are just starting to learn autocad focus first on the basics okay but of course for our class we need to make first some few adjustments for our convenience so first here in the display tab, 
uh, we are currently in the display tab um, go towards here the crosshair size okay I want you to drag the slider towards the middle and then click OK clicking OK means OK apply it okay and OK so there you notice that our crosshair now is a lot bigger uh, than it was previously now go back again to uh, options by right clicking your drawing area and then uh, cho choosing options i want you now to drag the slider all the way towards the right okay so this is actually in percentage of the drawing area so meaning when we move it towards 100 it's 100 percent the crosshair will occupy 100 percent of the area of the drawing space okay so Click OK to apply it again. And there you have it. The crosshair now uh, occupies the extent of your drawing space. So, what are the connotations of this? For me, I use this as a visual cue for the location of my uh, cursor or my crosshair. And for alignment, etc. But most importantly, when we go to paper space. Okay? And we'll be discussing this later on, on the uh, coming tutorials concerning paper space. Again, go back to options. Right-click and then options. And make a few adjustments under file save. Under here, open and save tab. So under file save, Make sure that Save As is set to AutoCAD 2013 as I have instructed you on your assignment guides. Okay? So, click on this and make sure it's AutoCAD 2013 drawing. And most importantly, under here, File Safety Precautions. Okay? Under Automatic Save, make sure that is checked. Okay? Or it's tick. So, that will automatically save your drawings in increments of, by default, 10 minutes. Okay? So, automatically, every 10 minutes, your AutoCAD uh, program saves your work. So, 10 minutes is uh, good enough. And if you are a beginner, yeah, that's good. But if you are um, faster than Flash, I don't know what you should uh, do. Uh, because we cannot find any uh, faster than this minute or faster than light in AutoCAD. Okay? So, after setting this correctly, hit enter. And, oh, by the way, yeah. Hitting enter is just like clicking OK uh, before uh, on your keyboards. So, enter is the same as OK in the uh, dialog box.